be changing oil in a 2013 Hyundai Elantra. It's got the 1.8 liter four cylinder. These models run from 2011 to 2016. Should be the same engine, same oil change. That's your basic materials. You need some 5W20 oil. Fram PH9688 oil filter. Or you need to look up a different one, but that's for this model. But if you go with a different brand, it'll be a different number. Got some rags, gloves. You need a 17 millimeter socket in for the oil drain plug. Drop light is useful, but not necessary. Oil drain pan. Make sure you unscrew your drain out of the plug before you start draining your oil because it'll run everywhere. Done it before. <laughs> and we got it up on ramps. You can also use jacks if you don't have ramps, but it's a lot easier ramps. And if you don't have anything, it'd be really tight getting underneath of it, but you might could squeeze under there, I'm not sure. One thing, first thing you do is just take your old cap and it calls for 5W20. Just kind of open it, but leave it kind of there. Just to vent it so the oil drains better. I always warm the engine up first. Big controversy. Some people think you should do a cold engine. So whatever you're happy with. I'm not going to argue. But we'll go ahead and get underneath there. Show you where the oil drain plug is. And the oil filter. This one's pretty easy to change. So it shouldn't take too long. Alright. Underneath the car here. That's your oil drain plug right there. And you just need a 17 millimeter socket. Go ahead and slip that on and unscrew it. If you have trouble getting it off, if it's really tight, you can put your socket on and take a hammer and just tap the hand on it. Once you get it broke loose, then go ahead and use your hand. You can spin it off pretty easy. Make sure your oil pan is centered over the drain plug. While you're unscrewing it, put pressure on the plug toward the pan to keep the oil in the pan until you feel it like pretty much all the way break loose and then just pull your hand really quick to avoid some mess. So you can tell it's loose now. I'm just gonna keep pressure until it's like all the way and then just pull it off really quick. There you go. So you don't have a big mess. Got it right in the pan. And while that's draining, good idea, what I like to do, check all underneath the car, look for leaks, check transmission, brakes, anything under the car that you don't normally get under and look at while you got it jacked up. This car was really clean, no drips on the transmission, no leaks from the engine, everything is really clean on this car. Um, after that, I like to check the air pressure in the tires, um, all your fluid levels under the hood, your radiator windshield washer fluid, brake fluid, everything under there. Just do an overall check on everything. And then we'll show you where the oil filter is once it's drains down. We'll go ahead and check your air pressure while the oil is draining out. It's in your driver's side door panel. You got 32 PSI for the front and 32 for the rear. And once your oil stops draining or it goes really slow, you can go ahead and put your oil drain plug back in, tighten that up. And your oil filter is right on the other side of the oil pan. So you go ahead and spin that off. Make sure you got your oil catch pan under it so you need to move it. Mine's not long enough so you need to go ahead and put your bolt back in your oil drain plug. And move your pan over. Unscrew your filter because you're going to get a lot of oil coming from that when you're right, taking it. Spin that in by hand. Make sure you don't cross thread it. It should go in very easily. Until you get it snugged up to the oil pan. Then go ahead and put your 17 millimeter on it. And go ahead and tighten it down. You don't have to kill it. Just make sure it's tight so it's not going to drain on you. Drip. Alright, you're going to take your oil filter off. Go ahead and unspin it. If it's tight, then you need to get a... You can get an oil filter wrench or something. But I don't normally put them on real tight. Once you start seeing the oil drain out, just move your hand. Let it drain into your pan. It'll take a little while. Then once that slows down draining, you can go ahead and spin the rest of it off and go ahead and drain the old filter in your pan. All right, gonna get your new filter out of the box while your old one's draining. Take your finger in your new oil, dip it in, and just apply it on the outside gasket. 
put a pretty good seal on. I just keep it easier to get off next time and where it's lubricated. So I'm going to go ahead and spin that on. All right, go ahead and spin your old filter off now. And go ahead and dump it into the pan there. And then we'll go ahead and get the new filter spun on. Right, you're going to go ahead and spin on your new filter. And get that snug. Once it breaks, the seal touches the pan there, you want to go ahead and turn it about two-thirds of a turn. Not quite a full turn after contact. That should be enough to seal it. Again, I don't like to tighten it too much because you're going to be the next one taking it off. So, and it, as long as it doesn't leak, you don't have to be real, real tight. But you need it tight enough where it's not going to jar loose. So make sure you're pretty tight. And make sure the oil drain plugs back in. Then we'll go on up and start adding. Right, so this car calls for 4.23 quarts or 4.0 liters. A good tip that I always do, if you have a, this is from another oil change, 5W20. So if you have the same one and I didn't have much in it. So what I did was take a new, new bottle, pour it into the old one so you can see the side. And put it right up to the 4.0 liters. Or the 4.2 quarts. It's just a really good idea so you're not guessing the whole time you're pouring it in. If you don't have another jug available, then you can just do it the old school. And you got five quarts in here, so you need to be down just minus the one point the four point two quarts out of the five quarts. So you can do it that way. But this is a lot easier. So now we can go ahead and pour that oil. Another good idea is to, you want to write down your mileage and the date you did your oil change. Because you will forget when the last time you did it was. What I would recommend just in the back of the book where you have your notes. Just write it in on there. And then you can keep up with it a lot easier that right, way. Go ahead and add your 5W20 4.0 liters or 4.2 quarts. Go ahead and fill that in and put your top back on secure go ahead and start the car while it's up on the ramps check for leaks while you're doing that to, before you take it off and you should be good to go just keep an eye on the oil level next day or two make sure it's on the right mark on the dipstick after it runs for a while and everything so that should be about it thanks for watching don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can see more videos thank you mm -hmm.